That was our 30th workout. We got two more to go. So right now we were freaking grinding, trying to finish this thing when we started, which is very well. Um, great group. Great group. We've um, we obviously we played the game on December 31st. Uh, school started back up on January 8th. I wanted to give them a day off, a week off. So um, we had a discretionary week, and um, we came. We're not allowed to train them then, and they all came in on their own. It was voluntary. It was awesome. So they are very motivated, and they they remain that way the entire time. So it's been really awesome. I mean, obviously, you guys that have been around uh, know that we're trying to run a very very aggressive strength power uh, program in conjunction with a very aggressive movement program, and that's tough. That's tough. In the wintertime, typically, a lot of programs feel that's the only time they really have to really grind on the weight train, and they, little, they slack down. Not slack, but they de-emphasize they de the movement part. Uh, but here, I believe that's really important. The strength and power without the movement is worthless for football. So we continue to do that. We ended up having, we've had 15 uh, running workouts so far and 15 weight trainer workouts, so it's been an even split. Uh, the weight, obviously the running workouts take a lot out of you, um, in, out in Aluba. So they've done a great job bouncing back every day, that next day, and getting a hard lift in, they're getting a hard run in. So I think one of the keys to this year has been consistency. They've been very, very consistent in everything they've done. Um, obviously you see me trying to round some guys up. We have a lot of different initiatives right now to try to really work on recovery. Um, you know, Kayla Matrunik has been phenomenal as, as a new, our head, new head nutritionist. She's got a class right now. She's, she's got, I got 14 guys. I got a bunch of various classes, uh, nutritional classes that she teaches every two weeks. And that's been very beneficial because as you guys all know, it's 2018 and this won't do you any good at all if you don't sleep right, if you don't eat right, if you don't take care of your body. So those finer things is kind of what we're really trying to do to get over this hump and get where we need to go this year. Okay? Um, it's quieted down a little bit, so I guess we can take some questions. Can you take us through how some of the mid-year enrollees have done and uh, maybe the kind of the progress they've made since they arrived on campus? We have six mid-years uh, right now, and they have been phenomenal. Uh, they're meeting with Coach Franklin right now, and um, they've been great. Uh, as you guys know, it's different coming in in January than coming in in June. Uh, you're kind of out on an island a little bit, and we're, the academic support and student services have done a great job integrating these guys in with all the different things they have going on. Uh, but from a strength and issue perspective, they've been phenomenal. Uh, we came in here, we, make, we tested them out thoroughly. After we did that, we just started cranking, and they, they joined right in. They were right in with the group right away. They've definitely all earned respect. They've all been accountable. They're all doing a great job in school. It's really a great group of guys. So we're really pleased with them, and we'll see. I mean, they are six months early, so we'll see what happens if uh, somebody could possibly help us this year. Can you speak to Micah in particular? A lot of eyes on him. Obviously, he's a high-profile guy. You know, Micah's done really well. And um, I think the one thing that, that Micah did when he got here, obviously, he's a five-star kid and kind of renowned um, in the entire country. Uh, but one thing that Micah did here is when you come up here, the stars disappear. So Micah came in and did a great job, and the older players have been great mentors to him, and came down, and instead of being the five-star, six-ranked kid in the country, became one of, one of the guys. Um, you would never know by the way he acts. He works just like everybody else. He's fit in really well. Not a big talker, uh, but he's extremely motivated to be the best player he can be. So it's been really a pleasure. You know, I train the linebackers. Um, it's been really a pleasure training him. And the What's been the most pleasant surprise that you've seen over the 30 workouts to date? Um, I just think it's been, it's the work ethic, it's the intangibles. Um, you know, the work ethic, the motivation, the consistency, just every day I go home and tell my wife, you know, every now and then, at any place I've been, less here than anywhere else, but it always comes that time you get and say, ah, we're just kind of flat today. I just haven't had one of those days all year. So I just think the consistency of just grinding at the level that they always grind. It's been, you know, the, the best part of this winter so far. Is that different from previous winters here? It's, it's a little, yeah, it's better. But we've always had great winters, but this one, I think, just kind of takes the place of, of the best one we've had so far. So it's our fifth one here, so it's been really good. The they're, mo they're a motivated group right now, very motivated. Kind of had that top tier in the past. Um, who's in it now? Any new additions? Uh, just as far as work, mm -hmm. you know, obviously, you know, Deshaun Hamilton kind of left his legacy with Juwan Johnson. And he is a train killer. Um, you know, he's done a great job. So he's one of our top, top guys. Um, another guy that's uh, really done a great job is Will Fries, who, who played left tackle last year and came in as a director for a freshman and did a really, really good job. Um, 
Uh, sophomore Richard, sophomore tight end Danny Dalton has been phenomenal. He works hard at everything he does. That's three. Uh, one guy that, that's been really good, that we're really, he's just been dinged this entire career, uh, is John Patrician. And John Patrician, uh, you know, has really paid his dues. He's had a number of situations, knocking on wood, and he's been healthy and he's doing a great job. He's really, really working hard. And another guy that's done a great job too is Lamont Wade. He was mid year last year, came in, did a nice job last year, filled a nice role for us. Um, we obviously lost all four of our secondary guys. Uh, this past year, hopefully, all to the NFL, and uh, I think Lamont's in there. Like he's like a he's like a piranha in a small pool right now. So he's really been phenomenal. I'd say that's our top five. John Reed active today. Um, how have you seen his bounce back effort? Getting oh, he's back been great. Play? John's been great. Um, he's ten weeks. Um, you know, we're still. You know, he had we had a pretty good one. That we had to, we had to get back from from a rehabilitation process. And you know how John is. Um, John's going to grind in everything he does. So. He's been phenomenal. He's been back. He's doing a lot of stuff at a really high rate of speed outside. Been great in the weight room, so it's really good to have him back. Uh, not only physically, but just from a presence and a leadership. He's a he's a special guy. He's kind of a magnetic guy. Doesn't say a lot, but just you know, what, when he does talk, everybody stops and listens. So he's been a very powerful, you know, addition to kind of get him back. Going back to Michael real quick, is there any aspect of what he's brought that has surprised you at all? Um, I mean, not really. Every time he does something great, I was like, wow, and I'm like. I mean, did you watch his high school film? I mean, why are you surprised? So, um, he can run, he can jump, he's strong, he's powerful. Um, you know, he's got all the ingredients that, that we would expect from him and that we saw in his film. Um, you know, a really, really good, good job. But I think that the thing that everybody is uh, very, you know, so far everybody's very pleased with is this Mike has just got a great attitude. And, and that's, he's one of the guys, he's fitting in, he just wants to fit and be a part and help us any way he can. And that, that's, been the, that's been the part that everybody's really pleased about. Not that we were expecting anything different, uh, but you know, he's a highly renowned kid. To date, everything Saquon's done weight room wise has kind of been here, all of the stuff that's been eye popping. How much are you looking forward to seeing him kind of unleash himself on Indianapolis this week? Oh, gosh. I know it's the whole country's kind of talking about Saquon. For everybody here that's been watching, including you guys, it's kind of old hat for us. You know, we've already seen it. Um, we're all excited. We're excited. And we actually have. We have eight guys in the combine, I believe. So we're actually real excited for all eight of those guys. And, and then the good thing, as soon as they're done, a lot of them are going to come back. So I think that's we're going to have 21 guys at our pro day. Um, it should be a really, really good pro day. Um, we're real excited for Saquon. We, we know he's going to do really well, represent us and himself really well. So we're excited to see him you know, put on what all of us already know he can do. You talked about lifting at the same time as running. Uh, where does flexibility for an athlete fit into that, and does that kind of help itself when you're doing yeah. both? Flexibility is, is all year. That, that's something you never scrimp on. That. that that occurs whether you're just you're in a lifting mode or in a running mode, in season, as whatever. So the flexibility thing is a constant. Um, and we're doing obviously we want to get it more flexible. I mean that's that's the the main reason you do flexibility is get it more flexible. But it's also a good preventative for soft tissue injuries. So that's obviously something that we always try to really. Uh, maximize is our approach to, to eliminating or, or restricting injury to soft tissue. So it's been a big part of the program. What's the greatest growth you've seen in, in Miles last year, maybe a couple of months? Um, leadership. I mean, Miles is stuck. We, we've all, we, you know, we've got some really good running backs in this program. And we all, you know, after we talked about it, we've all kind of, not forgotten, but they've certainly been in the back burner. Um, this kid's a special kid. And uh, we, we feel very, very good about what Miles Sanders brings us on the football field, but especially off the field. He's uh, the running back culture has, has always been one of our best positions culture wise. They work hard. Um, they do what they're supposed to do. They care. They're good leaders. And obviously Saquon was such a powerful presence. Um, he wasn't a big, loud, loud, obnoxious, you know, guy like that. Um, but just his presence was so strong that you, you couldn't help being in a position to kind of take a step back and let him let him go. Um, and Miles didn't hesitate. The second we started in January, he stepped right up. He's the, he's the leader of the room and he's really done a great job. You know, Mark Allen's done a great job there too as a fifth year senior for us. James mentioned it on signing day, uh, a couple different guys, one dropping weight, one gaining weight, Zach putting on weight, and then Nick dropping the weight. How is that process going the way you want to see those guys? Zach, um, Zach Coons and, and Nick Tarburton. Oh. Um, kind of going out the direction weight. Yeah. It's been phenomenal. I mean, um, but that's, I expect that there's six guys. I mean, they came in, we evaluated, we analyzed them, and we said, okay, here's what you need. And, you know, you came a checklist, and they just check it off. I mean, they're okay. 
Um, so both of them have been phenomenal about that. Um, we have six, I told you, we had, we had five. We had five nutrition classes, and the six guys have one. So they're getting some really good individual treatment from Kayla um, about, you know, maximizing that. So she's been a big benefit to making sure Zach's up, making sure Nick's down, Jesse's coming down a little bit as well. Um, and then obviously, you know, with, um, with Isaiah and, and Trent and those guys, uh, we really got to make sure that, uh, you know, they're, they're strong and they're, they're maximizing their lean mass. So it's been good watching that happen. They're, they're very motivated.